Meanwhile, the investigation into Mr. Trump's would-be assassin continues in Pennsylvania. A live look there at Bethel Park, Pennsylvania, home of a former or now deceased 20-year-old uh, Thomas Crooks. We are now learning how the shooter, Crooks, got his rifle onto the roof of the building where he took the shot at the former president. Well, he delivered the opening prayer at the Trump rally last week, and then chaos and carnage. Father Jason Sharon is the pastor of the Holy Trinity Ukrainian Catholic Church in Carnegie, Pennsylvania, and was asked to give the benediction by the Trump campaign. We now know what happened. A week later, the prayers continue. Reverend Jason Sharon joins us now. Father, thank you for being with us. Uh, it has been a week now. W what are your thoughts and reflections uh, as we still try to process what happened? Well, thank you for having me, Eric. Uh, my thoughts and reflections are uh, that this has been an experience where um, you know, the, the hand of God in, enters into the affairs of men, um, not necessarily to you know, um, you know, promote um, Mr. Trump's political platform, but uh, simply it is a, a case, I think, in point in American history where uh, there is uh, a providential act where uh, the life of a man is spared. And um, I think it's irrefutable. Um, that day was was a special day. People were uh, jovial. Um, it was a wonderful gathering, and uh, that the events that happened that day, I think, remind people that the affairs of men are are guided by the hand of God. What did you say, and what were some of your 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 topics when you when you opened in your prayer, giving your opening? Yeah, yeah. So my my prayer was simply um, that. You know, like a, a green forest is made green by the trees. The trees are made green by the green leaves. And our political polity is, you know, uh, if we want to have a good uh, political polity, a, a nation that's right ordered, my prayer was that we would begin by having right ordered relationships with God, uh, that our relationships with God would be put aright, that our nation relationships with one another would be put right, and then collectively, you know, our nation would be in right relationship with God. And through that, our world would be made great. Uh, so that was my prayer. And at one point, uh, tell us about you were with a group of people, and you actually asked them before this happened to pray for the former president because people may want to shoot him. What did you tell them? Yes, that's true. That's true. So I, I left the stage a few moments before President Trump was to take it. Um, and as I was on the other side of the crowd, opposite where the, the shooter was, uh, I said to people, my job's over, I've done the prayer, but your job continues. You need to pray because there are people who want to shoot him. And I said it loudly in front of a lot of people, and uh, I think there was a journalist or two around. So uh, it, it is a matter of record, and I, I did say it. Wow. What, what, what made you say that? You know, what made you think that at that moment? I really can't tell you the answer to that. Um, I, two things I don't know. Why the Trump campaign called me, of all people, and why I, I said that. Um, but I, I just uh, I kind of welled up out of me. And, uh, but I can't answer the question why I chose to say it. Rather rash and imprudent, if you ask me why you'd, uh, you know, a, a priest would say that with uh, Secret Service agents around. But uh, I did say it. And finally, your thoughts. Uh, in a few hours, there'll be another rally uh, again. Fi uh, this time with uh, Vice President nominee J.D. Vance, the first time since last Saturday. Your, your hope as we go forward for the today and rest of the year? Well, my hope is that, you know, Mr. Vance will look to uh, Mr. Trump's strengths in his first administration of uh, consistently defending uh, Ukraine, defending the right to life here at home. And uh, I just hope that they will continue to um, advance that in the public square, uh, a solid, robust defense of, of Ukraine and a solid, robust defense of, uh, you know, of the right to life. Reverend Jason Charon, thank you so much for joining us, and God bless you, Father, and thank you for being here. I'm Steve Ducey. I'm Brian Kilmeade. And I'm Ainsley Earhart. And click here to subscribe to the Fox News YouTube page to catch our hottest interviews and most compelling analysis.